During the 1700s, executions in France were public events attended by whole villages. Quartering was a traditional method of execution for impoverished criminals, in which the prisoners' limbs were attached to four oxen, which were then driven in four opposite directions, tearing the individual apart. Upper-class offenders might avoid a cruel execution by hanging or beheading. Basically, the rich way of dying meant the least painful, but the poor really got it painful. The guillotine is a device used to administer death punishment by decapitation that became popular in France after 1792 during the French Revolution. A French physician proposed in 1789 that all offenders be killed using a machine that beheads painlessly. Well, I mean, at least it's not that painful as the quartering punishment. But hey, who am I to tell? I wasn't even there to begin with. There was this doctor named Joseph Ignace Guillotine that was born in France, 1738. He was elected to the French National Assembly in 1789 and believe it or not, he wanted to remove the death penalty completely, but spoiler alert, it's in his name. He invented a new way of punishment that he argued was painless and everybody no matter the class is equal to be executed by the guillotine. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a step towards banning the death penalty completely. At that point, the guillotine was used in Italy, Scotland, Germany and Persia, but only for aristocratic criminals, of course. OK, so now the Dr. Guillotine builded the execution device guillotine with a German engineer and harpsichord maker named Tobias Schmidt. It will be more correct to say that Schmidt did the work and the other dude just named it. However, Schmidt suggested that they will use a diagonal blade instead of the round one. Fast forward in 1870, this dude named Leon Berger, there is no images of him, so let's say that this is Leon Berger, improved the guillotine by adding a spring system, a lock device, and a new release mechanism for the blade. Basically, he revolutionized it, and after 1870, all guillotines were built by Leon Berger's construction. Now, story time. The start of the French Revolution took place in 1789, signifying the momentous event of the storming of the Bastille. During that very year, on July 14th, King Louis XVI was overthrown from the French throne and compelled to go into exile. The recently established Civilian Assembly proceeded to revise the Penal Code, stating that every person sentenced to death would undergo decapitation. This alteration ensured that all societal classes were subject to uniform execution. The first instance of guillotining occurred on April 25, 1792, at the Place de Greve on the right bank, when Nicolas Jacques Pelletier met his fate. Ironically, on January 21, 1793, Louis XVI himself faced the identical grim demise with his own separated head. Throughout the duration of the French Revolution, numerous public guillotining took place, involving a multitude of individuals. OK, so now we know the story of the guillotine. But where and when was the last time people used it? It was in 1977 and the execution took place in Marseille, France, and the executioner was Hamida Jandoubi. That's it for this video. Bye.